Hello everyone again. I am so excited to do this silly directed drawing with you guys today. Um, if you are doing it step by step with me, um, I wrote a little bit ago materials you'll need. Um, you'll need one crayon or a colored pencil. I'm going to use a crayon today, um, but either will work. And one piece of paper. I have it on this tray so that I can hold it and I have a hard back while I'm drawing. And then colored or watercolors. I chose blue, like the ocean, like our book, Octopus's Garden. Because today, with me, we are going to try and draw the octopus. But the silly part is we are drawing a white crayon on a white piece of paper. Are those the same color? Yeah. So do you think when we draw on it, we're going to be able to see it that much? I don't think so. So the fun part is, and the silly part, is we're going to try and draw this octopus as best as we can together, and then it's going to be like a little magic trick when we color over with watercolor, it's going to make our octopus appear and then we're going to see how we did drawing him or her. So, let's begin. Okay, I'm going to bring it down so you can see. Pop this up. Okay, our first step is we are going to draw the body and kind of the head, which in an octopus is kind of all the same thing which is going to be an oval. So an oval is not exactly a circle. Um, it's more of like a egg. So we're going to try and draw our oval as best as we can without anyone seeing it because you can't see it. Okay. Then can you tell me how many legs an octopus has? They have eight, eight legs or tentacles, I should say. Eight tentacles on them. And this guy's kind of sore a little bit, so that's what I'm gonna try and attempt to do. You can do that or you can just do his eight tentacles. So, I think this is kind of where I drew his head. I'm gonna start by making my first leg or tentacle. I'm gonna swirl it around. Bring it back. And then I'm going to do my second one. My third one. Swirl it the other way. Fourth. And then we're going to go fifth. This one's going to be a little longer. Put his out a little farther. I hope I'm not running out of room because I don't know where all my tentacles are. Do you guys know where yours are? I guess we'll find out. Okay, I was on five, so now I'm doing six. I think I put too many on this side and not enough on this side, so I'm going to try and make one appear over here. This might look really silly. We'll, tr we'll put one right here. So that's seven. And then I guess we'll just put the eighth one over here. He's going to do, he's going to wave to people. So his is going to be up by his head like he's waving to people. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have no idea what he's going to look like. Okay. And Something on this octopus is he has stripes, kind of like a tiger, which is kind of cool because he also has the coloring like a tiger. And I want to do stripes on mine. You can do circles, you can do squares, you can do triangles. You can make your octopus look however you want. You want to create patterns, go ahead because He's going to look pretty silly 
and he's gonna also look pretty awesome with those patterns on. So I'm gonna do stripes and maybe I'll do a couple circles because I think that'd look really cool. Um, maybe his face is over here. Little stripes, maybe a tentacles over here. I think octopuses blow bubbles, right? So maybe we can put some bubbles in the, like he was underwater blowing some bubbles. Some more stripes. I have no idea if I'm getting these stripes on these tentacles right now. That's what's gonna be so silly is we have no idea what he's gonna look like. A couple more stripes, gonna do a couple more circles. Okay, last, what I want to do, you can choose to do this or you don't have to. I want to put some eyes and a mouth on him. This guy's got some eyes. He actually has eyebrows too, so maybe we'll do some eyebrows. And he's got a big smile. We're going to do the same. So I'm going to do circles, the eyes, and they're going to be pretty close to each other. And then I'm going to put a little circle inside the big circle, if you can find it, for his pupil. I'm going to do the next eye with another circle inside for his pupil. Do a little, let's see, his eyebrows. Just a little above, little lines. And then I'm going to do a big, happy smile. <gasps> oh. I have no idea what he's gonna look like, but I'm pretty excited to put this watercolor on top of it. Okay, next step, when you're ready, we are gonna do our blue watercolor over our octopus to find out what they look like. Okay, I didn't, I made my own watercolor. I did food coloring and water. I didn't add a lot of water, which sit a little bit so that the color of the food coloring is still really dark so that it can make the white really pop. Oh my gosh, is that his tentacles? Oh, there's some of them. That's pretty cool. Got some of the circles on his tentacles. One thing you could do is you could get pipette and you could make the water drip down. Because then you can maybe put a little circle and then it kind of drips down on its own. Do you guys see him appearing? Let's see his smile. Look at that. I can kind of see an octopus. It's got a big smile. That is pretty cool. And you can use um, different watercolors. You don't have to use blue. I just used blue for the ocean. But you can use yellow, red, any color of the rainbow. You can use multiple colors, which would be cool. Um, another idea you can do is you don't have to do the octopus. You can just get a piece of paper and you can do other 
sea animals or anything you want. You can just experiment with making patterns and stuff. This would be a good idea for infants and toddlers who can't make those exact shapes of animals. Um, they can kind of just experiment with the white crayon or colored pencil and then putting the watercolor above it to make it appear. So there are many different ideas you can do with it. You don't, again, have to make the octopus. You can make whatever you'd like, but you can go step by step with me um, with this video and make the octopus. Um, I think he's pretty cool. There he is. Can't wait to see all your guys' creations. Have fun.